Boys and Girls Country has been here in our community for years, and they are all about family. So when we got the opportunity to partner with the Hamble Foundation to build this home, it was just a small way that we could give back for all the work that they do. This is beyond what I could imagine. To be able to come into a brand new home uh, with this kind of floor plan, this kind of space, uh, beyond exciting. <laughs> this is a home for kids who desperately need a place to stay. It's parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles that can't take care of their kids and willfully give them to us. You know, we take them as young as five and you have them as old as 27 right now. And no government funding to make sure that we can raise them with Christ as the center of their life. Again, the goal is to create great humans at the end of the day. Each home has host parents. Kids come from backgrounds that are not ideal and they are loved on. That's why I'm drawn to it. So to be part of an extended family like this is unbelievable. The Water Lily is a beautiful floor plan. The biggest thing that I enjoy about this floor plan is the kitchen. I can just see lots of gatherings here um, with my family as well as other uh, members of the community. Well, the way this lays out, it's, it's a, by far our most popular plan in Town Lake. The open concept, the big kitchen. Uh, we put the extended covered patio, so you see that the patio wraps around the back of the home. We put in a wood burning fireplace. The big long entry gives it a grand effect as you come in. For Vince, the small office scenario off the kitchen here is a, is a great feature for him. Uh, the Jack and Jill bath will accommodate the two young boys that they have. So our boys share a room currently, and so they are very, very excited to have their own room. I love the Jack and Jill bathroom. They'll have their own sink, and uh, we will see who's the cleaner of the two. We're looking forward to hosting uh, not just our volunteers and board of directors who will come out and be hosted here. We're gonna host the most valuable people on this campus, and that's the children that we serve here. So we're uh, really excited uh, that this home is gonna be not just a living space for the Durans, uh, but a refuge for everyone who walks through that door. When I drove up today, I mean chill bumps from the top of my head to the bottom of my toes. The Lord has put this on my heart, I'll be honest with you, for a very long time of some way to give back and help. And uh, I just came out here and it's just amazing, beyond my wildest dreams. So for Vince and Ashley, and, and specifically, they have young kids, they're gonna live here, be so happy, be proximate to the campus, which is important for them to keep an eye on things, which is fantastic for them. Um, and we'll use it as a gathering place and as a fundraising. And, you know, our lifeblood is continued funds. We'll use this as an example of you know, the Caldwell's giving and use this as a fundraising avenue for other donors. Fred and Susan, the Hamill Foundation, thank you is not enough. Uh, I remember having a conversation with Fred just uh, at our groundbreaking ceremony. And uh, I was thanking Fred and he just shook his head. Don't thank me, I'm thanking you. Mm -hmm. And that really, Fred, that really meant a lot to me. I just want you to know that. It's been an honor to be part of this project and to build this dream home for the Duran family. And I can know I can speak for my entire team that uh, it's been a, a great project for us to be involved in. Tom Brown and the Hamill Foundation, you and your, uh, the wonderful directors there, we are beyond uh, grateful. And with the support of the Hamill Foundation and the great work uh, of Caldwell Builders has made this happen today. And so what a blessing it is. Thank both of you very much.